So welcome back. I wanted to make another short video for you guys about how to make fiberglass flanges since it's one of the most common questions I've got now. Here you see the cowling that has the fiberglass flange on the back there that you've seen in the previous videos, but I'm going to use the empennage fairing to show you how to do it. So let's show you how we did it. So here's the empennage fairing and in a couple videos you'll see that we didn't actually end up using this but I did create a fiberglass flange so I thought I'd use this video to show you how to do it. It's the same process for the cowling. So before we start we decide where we're going to cut and where we're going to put our screws. So here we just mark our screws about a one inch spacing and then up from that about three eighths of an inch is where we're actually going to cut the pieces into two and we'll just mark that so we get a nice accurate line for the Dremel tool. Dremel it away. Now here's the key is as we Dremel it away, we're not going to remove it completely. We're going to leave a couple little tabs so that the two parts stay joined to each other while we create the flange. And once we've done that, it's going to be a little bit flimsy. So just be cautious as you do this. Now we're going to put some clear tape on the side where we don't want the fiberglass to bond. And the key here is that you cover up the gap. If you don't cover up the gap with the clear tape, then when you fiberglass in there, it's just going to bond everything back together. And we'll put some wax on there just for added protection against the fiberglass bonding to the part. And just support it in the back. Like I said, it might be a little bit flimsy depending on the shape of the part that you're creating. And I'll just use tape fiberglass. This is about an inch and a half in width. Create a little pattern for ourselves. And use that pattern to cut the other pieces out. Now we've got all our pieces and we're just going to use West System Epoxy again and lay it over top of the tape and then blend all that in until the fiberglass appears to be clear so you know you have epoxy in every little crevice. And the side we're going to bond the, the actual tape to, I just cover that with some liquid epoxy to make sure we get a nice bond. And then we are using four layers here. Probably not uh, as many as required for a simple little flange, but a nice, safe, strong uh, structure. So let that all dry up 24 hours and then now we're going to go back and we're going to drill the screw holes that we're going to attach the two pieces with. So initially just a number 40 drill here. So that's really the key to making these flanges to drill the screw holes before you actually separate the parts so you get a nice alignment. And once it's all done, just go ahead and pop off the little tabs. Same process that you're going to use on the cowling. Cut it in two pieces, leave little flanges, draw your attach holes, lay up your flange and go back and take it apart. And it should pop right apart with the masking tape and the wax that we used. Might need an X-Acto knife to get rid of some of the residue. Trim off the fiberglass flange as required. 
leaving plenty of room for your nut plates. And anytime you dremel something, the edge is probably not going to be perfectly straight, so get yourself a sanding block to make it look nice and finished. And in this case, we enlarge it a little bit. We're going to use number four screws in this one, so pretty small screws. Now I'm going to show you how to use clip-on nut plates. So the first thing we're going to do is rough up the back of the fiberglass that we used. Here's the clip-on nut plate that we're going to use. Again, this is a a number four screw. We get the epoxy right from click bond. Equal amounts of each as it automatically dispenses. Mix it up so we get a nice green mixture. And this is really a fast way to put nut plates. It's also really ideal when you don't have access to the back side and you don't cannot necessarily put a normal nut plate in that would require rivets. So I use these everywhere. We'll just take some alcohol swabs or cleaning pads as you get from click bond. Make sure it's nice and clean in the back. And then a nice generous amount of the epoxy onto the nut plate. Then just pull the nut plates through the flange until the nut plate sits nice and flush and you see the epoxy squeeze out along the edge. Obviously you don't pull too hard because we want that silicone to remain in place until it's dry. So you can see how this would be a very quick way if you were doing nut plates on a wing tip for example. Really quick, no countersinking, no drilling, no riveting. So that's what it should look like. All said and done, the nut plate's in place. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's how you build a flange. Same process on the cowling. 24 hours, just pop it up the silicone and there you go. So hope you guys enjoyed this. The other last thing I'd like to mention is I finally got around to doing the Twitter and the Instagram and the Facebook link for this. So if you go to the Stu's Aircraft Factory at the front page of the, of the YouTube, you'll be able to see links to all those. The other thing I want to mention is the goal before Oshkosh 2020 is to get 1,000 subscribers. We're at 270 right now, so tell your friends, subscribe, like, build yourself something, take it for a rip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you on the next one.